All right. Said we're going to be seeing Falco versus Mega Man. Should be seeing a lot of uh, a lot of leaf shield and like a lot of setups from from uh, from King Arc. Something he's pretty good, uh, pretty known for. Yeah, I really think uh, part of the onus is going to be on Tilde to get in and find those explosive openers that we've known him for. But you know, getting past the walls of leaf blade or of leaf shields, metal blades, and lemons is you know going to be a challenge for King Arc maybe. I really like the use of the reflector to get rid of the air shooter pressure. Mm -hmm. That was really, really quick timing on uh, on Tilde's part. I believe the ref uh, Falco's reflector actually comes out frame one, so it is great for that sort of situation. Super quick, super safe, and gets you out of that Mega Man. Uh, those those darn winds, so annoying. But right now, both players are pretty good. A uh, good uh, this percentage right now. No one really in a high advantage right now. Oh, I lied. Okay. Okay. Oh, of course, Mega Man can come back just fine. That was a little Ooh. bit scary. King Arc did not have his jump there. Yeah. But, all right. So they're just going to be able to make his way to that uh, Pokemon Stadium to platform. Right now, both players on the on the, on the ledge just kind of playing with uh, the mechanics of the ledge. Oh, but with the Falco, uh, I believe, back air? Yeah, that was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get down aired yep. by Falco, you're... You're taking some heavy damage. That was actually a great oh. catch. Uh, Tilde reflected the Metal Blade, but King Arc was still able to catch it and was able to grab the stock for it. Mm -hmm. And down air him into Oblivion. Great job on uh, on King Arc's part. However, oh, with Tilde doing a great job, but at least uh, shooting a good portion of Leaf Shield's hitboxes. Yeah, that was a great sort of setup mm -hmm. by King Arc. You know, he kind of went in, poked a little bit with the Leaf Shield, uh, feigned walking away and then uh, you know threw the leaf shield at him. But now King Arc at ledge uh, wasn't able to connect that flame sword and now Tilde going off ledge. Great angle by Tilde. Uh, King, uh, he knew that King Arc was looking for that slash claw. And now King Arc only has last stock at the moment. Only of about two minutes into the match. And Tilde might just be able to do his uh, his usual Falco to possibly uh, down into the back air or something of the sort. But King Arc is keeping a really safe distance against Falco. Ooh. Trying to make sure he finds his opening, just like he did with uh, with that forward tilt. That was actually a I great think. conversion by yeah. Tilde with the uh, the metal blade. You know, I mean, Ooh. and, you know, that's absolutely something King Arc is going to have to be looking out for. If throwing out his own tools is going to give Tilde another combo yep. starter, you know, that's... Into the Falco back air. That's just something you got to be wary of. A uh, fair, uh, pretty convincing two-stock from Tilde game one. Yeah, King Arc is really good at trying to keep himself a little bit spaced out between, uh, from uh, Falco's... Projectiles and hitboxes. However, yeah, it's just that Falco back air. It's a clean combo. It's a clean stock taker. It looks like uh, we're going to be going to. Uh, I didn't see what they struck to. I know they struck. Uh, oh, they back struck, to PS2. Yeah, uh, till they struck FD and uh, Smashville. Going to be, you know, reducing King Arc's uh, camping potential. It was a good, a, a good, a, that's a good play on his part. You know, make sure that King Arc can't, you know, use uh, all of Mega Man's projectiles to the way that he likely wants to. Ooh, all right, Tilde uh, had actually lost his jump there, I believe, but King Arc not able to, uh, you know, punish that Phantasm, which I really feel like that's something you're going to want in this sort of matchup. Uh, you know, the spacey problem has kind of always been their sort of exploitable recovery, and especially with a character like Mega Man who has so many options, like, you know, F-Smash, uh, Metal Blade, Z-Dropping, you know, you're going to need to capitalize on any ledge situation you get, especially against a player like Tilde. Mm -hmm. Completely agree. And But already, oh Tilde was able to... Oh, so oh my gosh! He was at, like, 40? So, oh, he was in the orange, and now he's at a deep red, like, a really, like, bright deep red. Ooh. Might be a very dangerous game for King Arc right now. He really needs to make, make sure he plays his cards right and makes sure that he keeps his keeps close to Falco because that's exactly what he's he's doing great at. That's when he gets his high percentage when he's closer to Falco and is able to get those Mega Man combos with the uh, Leaf Shield as a starter. But Falco or uh, <laughs> Tilde is just simply not letting him. 
finish off his uh his Oh my gosh. This might be drag down forward air. Uh huh. Great spacing by King Arc. Not gonna uh not be gonna kill this next stock yet. Ooh, that was great by Tilde, because I really think King Arc was waiting for the Fire Falco to to come out. You know, that would have been a free down air. But you know, but Tilda, jump into up air, uh, into up into like the air dodge. I think was what he did. Yeah, because I mean, especially with a a move like fire, the Firebird, Fire Falco, whatever it's called. Uh, you know, it's got the the sound effect. It's got the big orange particle effects. So that would absolutely be what King Arc was looking for. But King Arc finally taken. Uh, Tilde, Tilde's Ooh. angles are insane. Every time I think, you know, Falco, I talk about, you know, the spacey problem. Spacey's got bad recovery. Tilde just makes me look like an idiot. Makes all of us look like an idiot. <laughs> he just he plays Falco in a, a, like his own way, where he's able to space himself out and make sure that he is able to really capitalize on like punishing his opponent and revert and doing like a, a role reversal. Where even if his opponent was at at first taking stage uh, stage control, he's able to just right now. He's about. I bet he's about to. Yep, he's he's gonna take the stage back control and just really whip King Arc into shape. All right, another another ledge situation right there. King Arc was actually looking for Tilde to recover on stage like he has been, but that time recovering uh, straight down into the ledge. All right, getting the leaf shield starter. Teddy Bears, be careful with that leaf shield. He's been hitting him a little bit too much. He just keep he's just keep shield on for a little bit longer. That was so unfortunate for uh, King Arc. He threw out the Metal Blade, but uh, Tilde threw out the F-Tilt, uh, really to just catch King Arc's landing, but ended up ca catching the uh, Metal Blade as well. Tilde coming back with a great DI. Yeah, I think King Arc was maybe looking for a ledge trump there, but didn't quite find it. Just thrown out the Reflector. Just waiting for him to use the, the metal, sh uh, metal Blade. Oh, but that's going to be game. Yeah, great wow. stuff by both players, but I mean, you know, Tilda's just so strong, and he he really has opened his third eye uh, when it comes to uh, these these angles. Because you know, when you see a Falco off stage, you know, a lesser Falco, you see so few alternate universes as far as. Uh, you know, which options he's going to pick. Is he going to, you know, Firebird up to the ledge or Phantasm? Tilde sees universes I didn't even know about. So, so this, so we're we're li simply living in Tilde's world at the moment. Like, this is his fifth dimension. And he just unlocks so many things about Falco that, like, he, he, I don't even know what you could really do. Or just uses it in such a smart way. Like, just, like for example, when we kept mentioning the way he angled uh, the Falco, like, Fire, Fire Falco, it's just, like... Like, you're so s Firebird. Firebird. I said Fire that's Falco. It it's okay, I called it that first. <laughs> and that's why I called it, because it Fire Falco. But yeah, Firebird, when he was literally above the ledge, and you would expect him to use that to come right into, like, the stage, yeah. but he angled it downwards to come to, to um, atta attach to the ledge. And that's just such a smart play, because that throws your opponent so off. They're like, yo, why are you not on the stage right now? It's like, I'm punish you for recovering. Like. Yeah, because I mean, a lot of players will expect you to go on to ledge because mm -hmm. if you're going to, um, you know, recovering downward is such a risk mm -hmm. because, you know, if you're holding down, like you're angling down, you're going right past the ledge. But, you know, Tilda's showing off that confidence. Um, by the way, uh, I don't know 